Welcome back. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, not the space station. We are trying to get back to the portal. Buried in these comms. I like being in systems that other players haven't spammed up. My favorite thing about this game is just being off in the middle of nowhere with no one around. Not, it doesn't matter what all these messages are. It doesn't matter. I don't, I don't. <laughs> Let's leave. Rango. Hey, thank you. Welcome. Welcome, sir. How are you doing? Hopefully you're all right out there. See, I know I do it, too. I instinctively ask everyone how they're doing, even when I can't handle that coming in. It really is a uh, human social habit, no matter how we might feel. Um, no, I was just kind of rambling on about it before, trying to avoid the question, so sorry, sorry. I, I, I'm glad you're great. Great is good. Great is good. It's great even. Oh, I've heard. Ah. I'm not even going to try going up and hitting the pulse engine. That was useless. The more comm stations we identified, the more impossible it became. Saucy moonshot. Oh, yeah? Thank you for the follow. Welcome aboard. Welcome, welcome. Ah, oh, there it is. <laughs> they weren't all there when we landed. Is this... Oh, fuck, we're not even landing. That's... Sometimes this thing looks like it's landing. It's not landing. It's just crashing into the ground repeatedly. Uh, as the engines... We're down. This... Is this everybody getting home from work and school and adding their combos? I mean, when we came through this portal, it was not surrounded by 50. This, this is spamming up since we got here. My name's not... Hierarch Hemelfart. No, all that was here was one of those... All right, good for everybody, bye. Yeah, let's go check in with whatever we had outstanding at base, clean up inventory from that, just a little bit from that. And I want to head off, let's go to one of the exotic systems, or just go somewhere and then warp to. I want to warp to blue star, green star, red star, what do you think? I want to try and find uh, another exotic world or two. Or we could hop around to a couple that I've been to. I dropped a teleporter on one, Some ring formations, really huge ring formations. I don't know if that was the one that said it had corrupted blood for weather. It might have been the same planet, although I never did see the weather. <laughs> this thing does not like landing sometimes. 
We're taking off. Hey, cra Big ships. This is another reason I like small fighters and uh, that small shuttle that we had for a while. They don't crash into things the way the big profile ships do. No, oh, no, they don't. Hex cores. So I guess we start stashing up hex cores to turn in. How many can we stack? They still only stack up to five. And, um... Let's dismantle this for parts. They changed some of the quick transfer interface with the patch today. Checked in with Atlas Station a couple times. Since I've never played the Atlas path all the way through, I don't really know how it goes. You can't just revisit the same station over and over again. The computer won't talk to you. You gotta find different ones. Sometimes you gotta wait. This is just a couple... You craft something. You craft this Atlas seed, and then you use the previous one to craft the next one, and, and on and on and on. Eventually, you end up with something cool. That makes sense, right? Got that going on too. Um, Scientist and the farmer while we're here. Uh, I want something in a box, too. Cobalt, okay, we'll break down that one. <sighs> so the scientist entity who was cut off from the Corvax Convergence is now, he's wanting to bond with other machines here, like the beacon. He wants to treat the beacon as a child. He's been teaching it. I do not think my child experiment is working. They have not assuaged my loneliness, and now I have two consciousnesses to fear for. I'm losing myself, Traveler. Take my core to a monolith. Let me interface before the Atlas. I must speak to eternity. The Corvax has no memories of my last journey with their core. Then I tried to reconnect them with the Convergence. This time they seek the Atlas. Do not know if the monolith grants such an interface, or if anything does. We'll try. Or removed. Now, where's the farmer at? I might need to get something out of a box for the farmer. I think we were... What the farmer want? This is a home of glass and metal, Traveler. It is in dire need of my touch, but no need to fear, for I come well equipped for such work. Copyright seeds and planter plans received. The items learned. Upright flower yields requires copyright. Good alternative to collecting copyright by hand, which requires feeding creatures and harvesting their droppings. Or it's a secondary mineral drop on certain things. Flowers must be grown in hydroponics trays. Your first lesson will teach you to embrace the dirt, friend. The earth provides life in death, after all. 
Take this hydroponics tray and these cupright flower seeds. Grow the flower and see how fine it feels to produce life. Broker no seep. Sipe. Already bedding in nicely. They have already given me the means to beautify my home. I prove myself a worthy farmer with this copright flower. Perhaps they will share more of their agricultural secrets. Wonderful, my friend. Soon our home will be filled with the delicate perfume of copright. Poop. Yes. Alien poop. That's good. Plant and a hydroponics tray. Give us blueprints, I assume. Structures, whatever it be, equipment, farming, plants, verge, how about a small hydroponics tray? Potted plants, flora containment. All right, cobalt carbon. You really couldn't be centered there, huh? Maybe we can fit two side by side. It, okay, you can. Good. At least you can do that. Because otherwise, I would have gone a little nuts. Hmm. Charge. Can't charge it yet, just because I haven't put anything in it, maybe. Equipment, farming, we got copyright seeds. So, plants, copyright flower, sort of, it's already locking into the target. So you can change, oh, it's a plant, Never, it's not important. Rotate, doesn't matter. We need 40 cup right in place. Okay, I have a stash in one of the boxes. Which one would it be in? Where would I stash my cup right? It might actually be on the freighter. I might not have any down here. We can come back to the farmer. Started sticking some crafting materials that I dug up in freighters or got as rewards in there, just thinking we'll use them soon enough. I've also gotten recipes for some of them, like polyfiber and unstable gel. I don't even know if things like Herox are even used in any recipes, so I don't... I don't know that everything I've saved there was even worth saving. But even with the recipe for enriched carbon, it's nice to have a bunch uh, that we can use. Psycho Jack, what's amazing? Hello, hello. Scientist, bring this quarter monolith. As, uh, that, 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 that knows it'll happen at some point. Acquire a circuit board. That was to expand the base. Do we already have the circuit board? I don't know where that's coming from. Blueprint. Do we already have a circuit board? Blueprint. Microprocessor. Oh, when we got the superconductor blueprint, let's say that uses enriched carbon and a semiconductor, and we can buy the semiconductors. We have enriched carbon, and that makes superconductors that are worth a lot, but they also, I think superconductors go into quantum processors, which are, I don't have the blueprint for, but they're one of the things we need if we were ever gonna make a stasis device. Cryo chamber, cryo pumps. We need a series of blueprints, a whole series of blueprints before that could even happen. I got very lucky to find that blueprint. And no, I don't have a circuit board blueprint, do I? So we need to please the scientist, and the scientist, uh, we're trying to. We gotta go take his consciousness. Do a monolith. We'll get there. 
Ah, also, this game on stream, I have to keep jumping left side, right side, left side, right side, left side, right side. It's another one of those little things. It doesn't sound like much, maybe, but um, nice when, you know, playing this off stream, not having to jump from left side, right side, left side, right side, just so I can read what's on the screen. This game is rough like that. I can't just sit on one side of the screen. I will obscure important stuff either way. They changed this too. The, there's a bit of a different drag and drop selection mechanism for getting things in and out of the hoppers. You don't use the Y button the same way. I drop that cobalt right in here from the hopper. You can always do that, but the button presses were a bit different. Chlorine, we we're gonna sell. I've maxed out Gek Reputation, so the only reason we would need a Gek Relic is in a monolith to find a portal when we're in a system that wants Gek Relics. Uh, Viking Effigy. Right. This up here. Wait, Effigies. I already have a stack of Effigies. Since I'm expanding my cargo spaces... Pretty rapidly, we're gonna have one more row and then it'll max out at 48. I have room for a few more things I wouldn't have wanted to cram in here before. Okay, I'll carry a stack of Gek Relics. They're often used to unlock portals, to find portals. <laughs> How are we doing? Sell the chlorine, we'll use the battery, etc. I don't know what to do with these hex cores, they only stack to five. We've got to see if they're dropping really anywhere. That's the next thing to see is, are the hex cores showing up? It, it kind of said so anywhere in the galaxy. Maybe for the next week, there won't be salvaged blueprints, uh, salvaged tech for blueprints. That would, wouldn't that kind of burn though for other purposes? If people wanted to, the blueprints. We'll have to see what happens. I'm getting ahead of things. I don't know that it's that. And there aren't usually, not around this base, there's not a whole lot there. So the monolith that we're being told to go to, that's not it, that's a, a portal. Send us far. Yeah, word from Terrible. Tribute to Enver Loda. Ah, huh. binary. Usually speak in binary, or do the Corvax ones, maybe. I think it's just this quest. I approach the monolith and prepare to insert the Corvax's core in the dice. The structure looks as if it was made for such a moment. Error, error, Atlas, obey, Atlas, error, error, run, error, run, error. Life form identified, Corvax, echo. Purpose, servant of traveler. Analysis. Verisimilitude failure, emotional breakdown, traveler infection. Solution? Terminate. Insulate. Insulate. Protect. Wipe. Rebooting. One, two, three. Monolith offline. Yeah, it's not how they normally behave, but we don't normally stick Corvax consciousnesses in them, so. If you find a strange monolith and a weird hole, don't stick your consciousness in it. 
just for fun or to see what would happen. Probably shouldn't stick other things in it either. Captain Frantic, hey ya. Uh. Welcome. Hope you're good out there. We gotta check that mind blown uh, emote that we got. <laughs> Picked it up, but I didn't even try it. Do you wanna see it? I mean, we can all imagine what it's gonna look like. Right? Right? Where'd they stick it? End of the line? Mind blown. Not bad. Not bad. Kind of lurking, throwing food at your face hole. I hope you're catching most of it. Entity Hyatasia's shell sits in front of me awaiting reconnection. I fear for what has happened to their data core. They take a while to boot up, if I recall. Shell reconnection, carapace online. Or not, this time not. Eh. Greetings, unknown entity. I passed my test. Share in this joy via the exchange of technology. Circuit board. Heat capacitor, polyfiber. And I stashed some of those things in one of the crates. See, I knew they might be useful. How do you feel about structural analysis, stranger? Scientist has once again been reset. But without a connection to the convergence, I fear they are doomed to repeat this cycle forever. From the moment they met me in the space station until their collapse into loneliness. Perhaps if I find them a convergence cube, they might be un unified with the rest of the Corvax and escape. And I've been saving one for this very occasion. The scientist deserves this chance at reconnection. They helped me greatly and they have taken good care of their beacon, their, their beacon child. Stranger, I feel something unusual is occurring. Is this facility shielded in some way, so that signals are unable to escape? Operator Entity Hyatasia is once again becoming aware of their isolation. The Convergence Cube may be their only hope. I insert the cube. The Corvax is temporarily startled, but soon their lights begin to flash in a familiar pattern. I cannot be sure, but the plan appears to have worked. Forgive me for asking, Entity, but did I know you once? You seem familiar. These terminals, they are of my own design. One machine even called me its parent, attempted to convince me of its love. Ugh, I deleted the bug, of course. I run a proper code base. I did harvest some useful blueprints from its store, however. Would you care for them? Whatever relationship we had developed is gone, replaced only by this cloud of unknowing. Perhaps it was an error. Perhaps this being was the true self of the Corvax all along, and the one I knew was just a sickness, distortion. I cannot know. Take care when constructing those objects, Traveler. The plans were created by an error, after all. Mind moon. Well, even though we have the blueprints now for polyfiber and heat capacitors, I also have polyfiber and heat capacitors. Yay! So we can make a circuit board just like that. We just need the one. 
Let's see what the base overseer says. Oh, this is to make our own trade terminals. Nice. Now, if we're on some world... I mean, we can use the economy scanner to find a trade post, but we can also just, when we're dropping a base, we can put up a wall, put up a trade terminal. Factories infest this place. Worlds upon worlds spitting out resources for no purpose. Yet you are attacked by sentinels for obliterating a single rock? It is outrageous. It makes me sick. The overseer is right. I am attacked by sentinels for mining small quantities of resources when factory complexes operate with impunity. Oh yes. Uh, I, I would. Speed kills. Hello. Depends on what kind of games you like though. But I, I am enjoying this game greatly. Steep learning curve demands a lot of your time. Very distracting with so many things to do, waypoints, can't do them all. There's infinite number of little things, but brilliant game, yeah. Why? Why do they ignore such greed while I must fight for mere survival? Yeah, doesn't seem right, does it? Does it? It is good to see your anger. Ask yourself, why do Sentinels get to choose who suffers? Who gave them this power? You like Ark and Grinders? Well, I haven't played Ark, but I imagine you'd like this then if you like Grinders and such. Uh, base computer. I don't think the base computer here is going to want to talk to us, but the one at Bunny Rock might. So, optionally, it says dig for more anywhere. I didn't see this in the mission log. This is the new community bit. The object phenomenon has now spread throughout the galaxy. Dig using the terrain manipulator. Search inside for strange objects. Launch into space to make contact with Polo. I guess it'll be... So it's going to continue to be the salvage tech symbol? What happens to the salvage tech? What happened to the salvage tech? We'll see. Expanding the base, acquire a circuit board, but I just made one. Thank you. Turn to the overseer. Oh, we have. I trust our scientist was able to meet your needs, friend. They have the circuits we demand. I approached the overseer. I was almost certain I heard them talking to themselves, spitting out words and phrases in a tongue I recognize but do not understand. But seconds later, there's no trace of the venom I thought I heard. Must be mistaken. Specialist Nalog asks me for the circuit boards. Need more than one? The Overseer is strange, but no more than any of the other beings I've encountered. Indeed, they've been more helpful than most. I hand over the circuits and receive my reward. Raid terminal. Sweet. Ah, friend, you will be so happy with Specialist Nalog. I've drawn up plans for some starship technology. But I cannot yet sync my design with your ship. I shall need a Gravitino ball to per perfect my device. The Overseer predicted I would be pleased, and once again, they are correct. They have been ceaseless in their efforts to improve my lot. A Gravitino ball is required to finish their promised starship tech. The farmer may be able to help acquire one. <clears throat> no problem acquiring one. I forgot we were going to need one or I saved one. You will not regret it, friend. It is good we work so well together. So, farmer, we're waiting on... Oh, I needed to get the coprite, which we could either feed creatures or I've got it up on the freighter. So, next time we're in space, hit the freighter, grab the coprite, continue the farmer quest. Next time we're on an extreme world, grab a gravitino ball. And we can check the base computer here, but I don't think it'll talk to us. So let's check the base computer here and then go to Bunny Rock and see if that computer will talk to us. And Bunny Rock's on um, Vodka, and I want to see if... Yeah, this won't. Fine. Won't talk to us. Fine. Be that way. Just be that way. That's okay. We don't need you anyway, base computer. So I dropped and did rename a few other bases in other places. Not that I can really remember where they all are. Ringworld's in a either a blue or a green system. 
Uh, that I just called Y because I don't know why I dropped it. I think I was bugged aggro with Sentinels again, and that was my way of getting out, was dropping a base computer, teleporter, and then teleporting out. Uh, I think this is supposed to be renamed. Why did these two not get renamed? They're on a big rock. Two of them on a big rock that's kind of floating. I don't really know if it's a place I want to build. Azure, that's in a blue star system. Cool planet, very chill planet with a lot of indium on it. And I had two water base, potential water base spots. So, I don't know. Maybe we can, if you're curious, we can check some of those out. A little more. Base names are weird. They only change when you revisit them. When you revisit, is that what it does? Thank you. So that's how. Once you've changed the name, leave, revisit, and then... That's consistent. That would be great. Hmm. So, first thing I want to know, if we see any of the salvage... Is it up there? If we see any of the salvage tech waypoints, I'll have to fly around a bit. Let's see what they're dropping. Are they dropping salvage tech? Are there some other new waypoints? Where are we going to find the hex cores? And I meant to drop those back in a box, but... Oh well. The ship does not fit under things as well. <laughs> Yeah, I'd like to find a medium or a large fighter and start decking one of those out. A good one. One that I like. Ah, but I like this planet. The rocks on this planet just make me happy. trader and then see if we can find any of those salvage tech waypoints and see what's actually in them now. But I really hope to go looking for exotic planets today and I still want us to. Just to break free from some of this other stuff. There's a whole galaxy out there of other stuff. One! Okay, finally. One waypoint. You know what? We're gonna do that first, and then we'll come back to the crashed ship. I must know. I must know. Rock formation was carved out by the uh, crashed freighter POI. Yeah, it just kind of cut it out. At ridges, ridges along the edges of the rock, uh, cliff face. Kind of see the the sharp edge here. It's jagged, but on the other side, it looked like rippled, like a potato chip. Rippled potato chip. Wait, was there more than one? Was there a closer one? Which one was I heading towards? Well, good. I'm seeing waypoints again. After taking that trip to another system, it just seemed like there were none, and we were never going to see any. Also getting a feeling of deja vu, and where's the nearby one? There was one. We were coming over the hill for one that was really pretty close. Now they're all 300 meters away. It was it was 180 to start, the one I was looking for. And one of our mystery creatures. Oh, come on! I've been looking for the last few creatures in this world, and... Uh despawn them in front of me? That's just mean.
more like one hex cube every three. Is that, have you been playing around? I've been wondering how they're gonna behave out in the galaxy. So is it a mix? You get your salvage tech and you get the occasional hex cube? I haven't spent as much time on this planet as I thought. I haven't scanned half the plants. Despawning an animal right in front of you. You're saving for the helmet? Shouldn't be a problem with um, six days. Unless you don't have much time this week to play, I guess. Depends on availability the week that the... What do you think? Um, the vendor will stay there? I imagine the vendor and the items will either stay there or reappear when they do the subsequent events. Couple big birds that um, there. <laughs> get them. There they are. They're gonna disappear. I'm not gonna be able to get them. Not gonna get ya. Unless it's not the bird I'm thinking of. Okay, we're getting that one. There's a pair of birds. It's like a certain type of spawn, and I've seen it on a few different planets where a pair of birds flies over together. If I scan nothing on this planet! Just the two, and they um, and they just go straight across the sky, and they're hard to catch because they they move pretty quickly and they despawn. So if you don't catch them fast enough, they will be gone before you get the full scan on them. Uh, the reason terrain manipulator was not working there is because it was hitting the dihydrogen crystals. You can't use a terrain manipulator on resources, so it was blocking it. So we're getting salvage tech, and we haven't pulled out any hex cores. Migratory birds, good. That's what they are, isn't it? Now we got a good description. Migratory birds. Fox honeyum. haven't I scanned on this planet? Jeez, I thought I had. Taking a peek. Um, oh, come on. Wait, wait. It's, it's reset. It's reset. I've been on this planet. I've been on this planet. Scanned 3 of 11. Did it, it, it reset today? It must have reset. Everything reset on this planet that we've been on. But what else did they break today? I don't want to know. What else did they break? I guess that means if we didn't, like, lose nanites and stuff, you can get nanites for scanning things all over again. And maybe even an opportunity to rename things that you previously renamed if it bugged out and reset them. The discoveries fall off the bottom. It's the thing you hate most about this gorgeous, infuriating game. What do you mean? Discoveries fall off the bottom. I'd have to guess what you mean. Uh, precisely what you mean. I did have a couple planets that had bugged and shown... Like they showed the gold paw, like I had uploaded all the species, but I had not found all the species. I wonder if the reset has only happened... on... Did it reset everything? No, not everything. They get deleted after either a certain amount of time or after you make a certain number of discoveries. What? That? Uh, how did? But that doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. Though it does look like a lot of things have reset. <laughs> the renaming stuff's kind of pointless. Well. I've never seen this happen. No, no, no. This is like everything reset. A, a good deal of stuff reset. Just all these planets that I've been to and their stuff has reset. But not all of them. There's one of the bugged ones. It says 10 of 10, but there's an empty box. And it um, 
shows the gold paw, but I have not found all of them. And I've not uploaded them all. Um, sometimes then, sometimes later. Hey, good one. Are you uploading when you collect? Yeah, that sure does um, take something out of renaming them if um, you, you don't know whether they're going to stick or not. We're supposed to talk to the base computer. That was what we came here for. And then I wanted to see if the salvage tech nodes were dropping hex cores. And um, haven't found any yet. First few, nailed them. But it does sound like we won't have to be in a special system that they will drop, potentially drop anywhere. You have a very specific naming schema. You can imagine how frustrating it is to have those names just poof gone. Yeah, yeah, I, I can imagine. And it, as it is, that would discourage me from, um, yeah. I'm fine with the in-game names most of the time. There's only from, Occasionally, do I want to rename something? <laughs> I really don't want to swim across all this water. They need to do something about the swim mechanic. Uh, if they want to, if they want to encourage people to swim more, it's not just the air. It's the fact that you can't really swim faster. You sort of can swim a little bit. Let me check those creatures. You can swim a little bit faster by using your jetpack. However, God, I gotta scare everything again on so many planets. Uh, if, if we care. I don't even know. I don't, I don't even know what I was thinking. It doesn't matter. You rename in a manner that allows you to easily see info about the system planet at a glance. I like the idea of that. But it's too much. Moving around too quickly, jumping systems. I uh, just, it's too much of a, of a mental burden to worry about. For me, I have not, I don't have a system. I just I can't, I just cannot think about, what am I gonna name that? Looks cool, what am I gonna name that? That's useful, what am I gonna name that? I want to come back here because it has that. So how am I going to name that? I guess I'll save it. Let's save that. Let's save that. Let's save that. And I've got a hundred things saved. And I don't ever really have a good time, good headspace to come back and think about them and rename them so they never get renamed. Or I just upload them eventually. After fussing over them for so long. Like, forget it. Just upload them the way they are. We can rename bases, we can rename, I don't know. Let's talk to the base computer. It's, it's, it's just weird, we're like, why are we able to scan all these big trees? Surely I scanned the big trees. Why are we able to scan these creatures? Another creature, another? It reset. Is that a new thing though? When you say that they fall off the bottom, uh, Captain Frantic, having entire planets reset, that's not what you meant, though, right? That's something else. Data recovered, 27%. Exosuit tech data extracted, downloading plans, personal upgrade module synthesized, data scraps. So, for instance, Himenium. SB, PF, PAR, CU, Hostile, Hot, an Earth-like planet, star bulbs, pure ferrite, paraffinium, copper, Hostile Sentinels, hot, intense environment. Ah. Well, got a good system. Tree follows. I glance back towards the wreck of my ship. 
Nothing more than a dot. Walking this plain for hours, yet the mountains seem no closer. I look up to the sky. Readable archive retrieval complete. Beginning defragmentation of next segment. Those life support modules. We don't Rages quietly inside. Truck the teleport receiver. Um, oh, we don't really want to do that. No. Thank you, but no. Didn't make it a quest. Make me put a teleport receiver in my ship. You know, I'm going to destroy it right afterwards because I don't have room. <sighs> Need for a teleport receiver. Antimatter, tech modules. Tech modules are in. One, two, three, four, five. Storage container number five. I will bring mine here. You're gonna jump on and play some? Cheers, have fun, trombones. receiver that I don't want in my ship that we are going to destroy after we make it. Technology are you happy now, base computer? Good. Can I destroy it now? You really made me make that. You really made me make that. Figure out the base building all over again. That's a little, a little daunting to me. So we can stash that back. Let's just sell. And we're not seeing any hex cores yet. Go somewhere let's go somewhere let's go somewhere exotic and different and find something um uh, and to drop those off doesn't really matter we're okay hoping we'll be picking up a lot of that batteries will get eaten um next core in here until we've at least found a few they give us, they give us two thousand quicksilver, or twenty-five of them. If it's the same exchange, we're gonna need um, more than that if we want to get to three thousand for the helmet. Let's see. Checking, Bob. Checking. I don't think so, but I'm checking. Um, no, no, I haven't. But, um, to be honest, I haven't, um, the restaurants come and go in town, uh, often without my being aware of them. That might change a little bit now. I'm out on the road a lot, so I might, I might become aware of where all the restaurants are in town again. But for the longest time, uh, they come, they go. I probably haven't been there. I've, I've been to th three of hundreds. <laughs> Something like that. We're definitely holding on to this stuff for now. Why don't we take the teleporter to another region of space first? And then we can warp around a little bit there. What are one of the systems I visited? I 
really done anything yet. Um, five planets, one moon. Bunch of stuff to check out there. Could go there. Green system. I don't know if I dropped any... The one with corrupted blood. I think that's where Ringworld is. Let's go to Ringworld, see if that's where that is, and then we can always warp from there to another place. Um... Wow, um... Yeah, um, yeah, could, could, could we, I'm sure we can figure something out. Not sure how best to coordinate it, but, uh, your first thought is probably not necessary to achieve, achieve your goal. So, I don't know, somehow we can coordinate that. But, um, anyways, sorry, I, I man, I really, I can't think about that now. The ring world. Bamboo goals, schmoles, right? This was that ring world. Maybe we'll see some of the weather here that I haven't seen yet. It says the weather is corrupted blood. And as far as strange planets go, I imagine this is not even that strange. These rings are pretty cool, but this is not the, not the most exotic of the exotic. space station I don't know about tech modules I didn't really think about that I said let's come here to uh, let's try and find exotic planets that sort of conflicts with trying to find um, salvage tech modules to try and get the special drops let's not worry about that let's I want to find in more exotic systems so there's more planets in this system but I don't know what their chances are of being Anomalies. So let's go up into space and see if we can figure out if any of them are anomalies. If they don't look like anomalies, then um, let's warp somewhere else. Corrupted blood, so metal. I know, we need to see it rain. I haven't seen it rain that corrupted blood. Maybe we should hang out for a little while until it does. trade posts, no um, minor settlements. I guess we could fly around for a little bit. But I think we should check out the other planets in the system or warp to another system. I dropped the teleporter here so that I would have something in the system. We can come back here. For the record, you don't like this community event. Um, I haven't decided how I feel about it yet. Could you elaborate?
What about it's no bueno for you? Decent racing strip on that planet. Huh. I haven't thought about making a racing strip. Torrid planet. Torrid. Just a pull up fetch quest. Did you just Sonic the Hedgehog those trees? Ah, that'd be cool. That would be great. No, I, I, I hear you, Chronic. It's, it's, you're right. It is kind of that, but it's also a way of introducing the new vendor. I believe those were classified as... Actually, neither. They were... Uh, you couldn't scan them. So, were they actually trees? I think they resembled trees more than they resembled minerals with some of their growths, but you could not scan them, uh, if I recall. I did not just try, but I was trying yesterday. There's supposed to be five planets. It could be that there's some on the far side. We can't see them. <sighs> or that they're... What if we scan, not scanned, just now? Or it... It can be hard to find a moon in a system. Sometimes. Figuring out if, if you don't see it right away, it's on the backside of something and you don't know where. And I just have to fly around some of the planets, fly around them. Ah, 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 sneaky. Sneaky. Before you can see some of the other stuff. Oh, and it moved. In first person, you can see moons on the radar. Oh, shit. Nice, I didn't know that. As much as I hesitate to go into first person, I want to see that. The moons on the radar. So, just a little dot that you can kind of see in there next to the planet. Is that what you mean? planet and and the reticle seems to work a little better oh it moved okay still a pain in the ass though come on wait for it to recharge clicking the left stick without moving the left stick is not the easiest thing forsaken moon all right we don't Message need to visit in. those places patch it through tommy bahama Thank you for the host. Cheers. There's no community goal limit or anything either. It's very half-assed. Well, that is indeed too bad. That they didn't um, do a little more with it. Orbital station coordinates received. Well could jump to to see where it wants us to go promising a promising isn't on the good list is it isn't that kind of middle of the road promising Corvax system and then atlas is in a fledgling system it is just their first community event it introduces the vendor and gives us a few things to buy and then they can do all kinds of things with it later. Maybe they weren't really ready to do it, but they didn't want to wait too much longer. We could better control this. If that helps. I don't think I ever realized that the triggers zoom in and out here. That's gonna help. That's 
gonna help because sometimes it it zooms over zooms under zooms and it's really weird trying to figure out what to do about that Got a green star I think that counts as green three planets two moons it looks like Check it out. Three planets, two moons, uncharted. Planet is the moons. Kind of see it there, so it makes the ring planet having the moons is not the most shocking thing either. But I think maybe it's not confirmed. Maybe I was looking at the dots in the background. Hmm. Maybe we'd have to get closer to be able to tell or scan it. Something. A radiated planet? Rusa. Oh, moon. That's a moon, not a planet. Making Teborusa the one with two moons. It looked like the same... Both moons were of the same planet when we were looking at the system. Maybe another moon on the far side. Let's go around Teborusa. would have been a, have a sentinel takedown with actual community goal limit to shout rewards based on what tier the community hits along with the progress bar to see the community progression. It certainly would be different. Um, who knows what they'll come up with in the future. If it'll all be fetch quest templates or what. Anomaly. <laughs> nice. That's what we want. We want anomalies. School, everybody. Cause anomalies. Happy almost day, starship and captain. Hello, Sea Star. Good to see you. Are you already home? Are you already home? Are you travel into the future? Or are you stopping in from an airport in the middle? You can't be home already. Can you be? <laughs> Anomaly, here we come. It's monochrome. We're in a colorless planet. How perfect. I should put a base here. That's different. <laughs> How does a planet end up like that? Great JFK. Oh, no. No. Oh, well. Uh, I'm sorry you got a three hour, extra three hour wait. Hey, green. Down here. This is my first monochrome world. That is pretty neat. Weather, inescapable toxins. Average sentinels, full and high flora fauna.
monochrome. So that's the anomaly, huh? I guess that's anomalous. Even if there's a little bit more color with our visor than there is without it. Usually the other way around. Planet Sin City. <laughs> and the temperature isn't bad yet. Toxins. It says inescapable toxins is the weather, but um, maybe it's intermittent. Not at all frantic. Other games do things like that. No problem. Any ways just to have the Sentinels drop an item when they're killed. No, I'm... I got... I, I got nothing. I just want to wander the galaxy. That's all. That's all. I just want to wander. Intent to wander. More stuff I tell myself I need, need to do, need to have, need to be just so. The more crazy I make myself. I don't need any help going crazy. These days. We have got to put down a base here just because it's a monochrome world. I mean, this is a boring place for a base, so how does the community stuff work? There's not much to it. That's what Chronic was just saying. He's disappointed that it, there's not more to it yet. Um, you go to space, you get a... You get contacted by Polo. You get sent to a portal. You portal through to a system that has probably been visited by lots of other players already, so there's comm beacons everywhere and you're supposed to loot a certain loot, and you get them from the same waypoints as salvage technology. Once you get 25 of them, Polo will let you turn them in, and he tells you there's a new vendor. And you can spend the Quicksilver on some stuff like there's a mind blown emote. But, um, yeah, there's also a helmet you can get, a fancy helmet for 3,000. And it's six days, so we've got six days to do that. x -Core. So initially you have to go a certain place. You have to use a portal and go wherever it sends you to get your first group of them. But after that, you can get them anywhere. In theory, I haven't actually had any appear. We haven't been looting very much. Sorry, I'm not very physically comfortable in the chair today. This monochrome planet is something. I'm just gonna drop a base computer here before I forget. Couldn't tell if it was green or not, because there was no color. Uh, small tasks for some fancy loot, basically. Yeah, and, it, and not much of an event to it. Kind of a fetch quest more than anything. But, um, that's just a start. Rat mount. Look at all this. That thing's about to get eaten. Or it's gonna get away. 
All right, well, I haven't seen any of these inescapable toxins yet. I don't know what the possibilities are for... Oh, I just pissed one off. <laughs> They're coming for us now. When did I piss off? Punched one of the locals. Uh, salvage tech. I don't know if in uncharted systems if salvage tech is likely to have dropped. I mean, who would have dropped it if it's an uncharted system? Maybe they're incompatible goals. Exploring anomalies and looking for salvage tech. Look at the color that appears when we uh, filter. Almost normal. This which seems so washed out ordinarily seems almost normal now. like the scan filter I do most of the time I wish we could because we spend so much time with that filter up or with the scanner up if we could just ditch the filter it wouldn't be so disruptive to looking at things you have a mod that removes it but it's broken at the moment and experimental and what about today's patch there seems to have been uh, another patch they didn't roll out that experimental build that particular build live today, did they? Or is that exactly what they did? Besides the cool filter, the monochrome world, it's not that exciting. And we're not going to find a trade outpost in an uncharted system. Post foul. that chromatic planets develop into something like raid locations in future updates. What do you mean by chromatic planets? Uh, all planets in systems with red, green, blue stars or something more specific like that where the planet has a, a different visual filter on it. That was a chromatic planet. I kind of guessed that that was a chromatic planet related to what you were saying, but can you clarify what you mean by that in a more generic way? Bolo, we will be pleased to take as much data as you have. Research deeper. Understand further. Give single sample. Give small sample. Give impressive sample. Let's... I'm, you, are you gonna bug me? I have one hex! Yes, it's okay. Hail us with your scanner, friend, if you gather more samples. All week long? He's gonna be he's gonna be radioing all week long when we use our scanner. Oh. Take your time. Hey, frantic. Thank you. you. If you come up with something, that's cool. No!
Reading so. That's horrible. Why? Why are you gonna start doing that? Okay, just select a different mission. Thank you. That's all I need to do to not get bugged about it. I never said I thought they did well with the implementation. I'm just not willing to shit all over it is horrible. I, I just don't think that the basic idea that it's bare bones, fetch quest, introduce a vendor, that framework doesn't bother me. Did I like going to a system that was spammed up with combuies? No. And I like wondering what happened to the state of one of the most basic loot drops that I pick up all the time. Uh, seems to have changed. No. Um, anyways. I can like one thing and not like another. I cannot be bothered by one thing and still dislike another. And I wasn't really trying to make any grand point about it anyways. Um... green system that does have, have I not been there yet? Conflict level, data unavailable, so I haven't been there. And it's green, but it has a space station. So not all green, red, blues are uncharted. That's good. I didn't know. They want to go to a, I'd like to find something with a better economy. Is that red? A little hard to tell if that's a red or a yellow star. Put a waypoint on it so I don't lose it. Devouring system, Corvax, advanced economy. There's comfortable. Medium supply. We can jump really far. We can go 400. Um, data unavailable. So that's uncharted. Okay. Get a little more of that. Is that blue? Well, that's blue with a space station and a comfortable economy. Three planets, one moon. A little contrast to tell. Is that blue or yellow? There's, is there something on the screen that indicates i mean sometimes it's obvious like look at the green ones above my head and that green one you are here okay that's green that's obvious and right now i can see over here um this looks red Message and this looks in. blue Patch ish blue. but when i get close to them it's going to be a little hard to see right like come down to this and it zooms in does that still look blue to you Maybe. I mean, it doesn't look like the yellow stars, but... Ah. Timpika, thank you for the host. It's hi, Jay, and everyone. Hope you're doing well today. Uh, Captain Frantic, no worries. That's okay. But uh, So let me ask a question that maybe you, maybe you could answer. Are, the, are they the ones that visually look different? They're... they're, they're color palette visual filters stuff like that or are you talking more about systems uh planets and systems with funky stars it looks white to you yeah yeah it does but see this so there's yellow stars red green and blue they aren't really white so the the blue ones do look bluish white usually have a visual eccentricity That red one's pretty obvious, but uncharted. There's a red one, medium supply. Pretty sure that's blue, comfortable. And bizarre weather. And you'll never find one in a yellow system in the Euclid galaxy. And then this one is advanced, I think is blue. Let's go. And they have mega plants that you can't scan. Yeah, Captain Frantic, when did when did you drop in today? We were at we were we were at one. We were on a, a ring world anomaly planet with corrupted blood weather. 
and giant plants you can't scan. And look what we just ran into. I have to take a look at that freighter, even though it's not really uh, a style I want to have. Ship. I should just wait for them to pull up, call out targets for me. I've accidentally shot the frigate right after rescuing it, and uh, I know some weird stuff happened, but it still let me board, and then... It was being weird. You think uh, what's mostly... They're found most commonly in red systems. That type of plant or what? Yes, your buddy's been looking for one of those for a hot minute. So they call that a sentinel? This capital ship? Uh, uh, brown. We'll get our waypoint in a second here. And I can find the top of the thing. There we go. Yeah, I always have trouble orienting myself with this one because it's so... Let's fly around it real quick. It's so tall. big Warhammer 40k fan and it kind of looks like one of the ships the Imperials use. I can understand why he might want it. It is, it's a massive fucking ship. Hello, Colonel, hello. right at the front for once. I like getting parked at the front. I always park us at the back and when it's empty it's just, why did you park me at the back? You know where I'm going. So if we ever did find some kick-ass S-class freighter with all the slots in the world, one problem with accepting it or buying it is that all the stuff in your other freighter just goes poof unless they've changed something. Uh, did they add a system today for transferring stuff from one freighter to another? As far as I read, if you get a new freighter, you're just, it's just boom, your old stuff goes bye-bye. It's orange, that's kind of neat. But, um, I'm good. I'm good. SS5, Ruvent. Just see what it want for it. Wait, you can exchange now? Is this new? Or did, was this always there? I thought there was some, um, couldn't exchange thing. Anyways, I'm not exchanging, but we have a hundred million value on that freighter I got for free. Yeah, I guess it, you can, like a normal ship transfer. I just, oh, I don't know what I read then. Something old? Chronic, you said it's not new. Hey, policy. Captain looks at me happily, almost relieved. Hey, I just said no. No, wait, what did I do? No, 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 hold on. 
Hold on, what happened? I didn't want to buy it. It's now at my disposal, as well as the command of the support frigates. I didn't... No, 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 hold on. We're loading a save, if that just... Did it bug out? What just happened? I said no. So... That freaked me out. Said he was happy you didn't buy his ship. Did he? You're good. I now I realize I'm good. Just bad dialogue. I am too multi-threaded with dialogue and chat and and a muddled brain. So, uh, Frantic will old, but reintroduced. Hmm. So... Is it so that for a while you could not transfer stuff freighter to freighter? I thought I had read something about that. Contaminated planet? Which has a moon? So, moon of Amandus Gamma, corrupted moon. So that's an anomaly too. Isn't that another name for an anomaly if it says corrupted? What are some of the, the descriptors of anomalies? Okay, frantic. You could always transfer stuff pre-next, but up till now, post-next freighters didn't allow you to transfer. Well, then that's just an awesome update. Chronic, it's been in since the next update, Jay. You've done it multiple times since then, to be exact. Okay, well, then I guess, okay. Uh, does anyone know? Corrupted, anomaly, what what are some of the descriptions of anomaly type worlds to keep an eye out for? That's an interesting glow. Or is it because I'm in first person? I'm never in first person. I guess that uh, could be a normal thing. Oh, cool. We have weird, weird growths here. Cheers, Colonel. Thank you for the bits. They're floating. Now, since this system is already charted, Let's see if there's a trade outpost. I mean, maybe there wouldn't be on this moon, but trade post detected. Let's see what kind of ships are in this system. Nor did we stop at a, um, we didn't stop at the station. All right, let's land here, check it out a little bit. And then let's see what kind of ships are in this weird system at some point. PC thing. Hmm. Okay. Yenink. Internal rain. The weather is internal rain. So, like, I'm under, underground? Does it rain inside my body now that I'm here? What's that, Colonel? Melts easily. Your internet speed just went up. Um, well, it didn't make sense that it got cut in half. 
So there's got to be something else going on. These are scannable. Nice, the big ones. Like somehow I thought the big ones would be unscannable. They're all just minerals. Pure ferrite, pure ferrite. And then deposits of indium. Uh, Captain Frantic, I'm not sure about chromatic planet names, but as far as you know, they always look like an Earth planet from space, but you get weird when you enter the atmosphere. Uh, yeah, and I wasn't even asking about chromatic planets, just the anomalous planets like this. I think they all have an odd description, even though the planet looks Earth-like. Yeah, I wonder if the azure planet is one of what you would call the chromatic planet. It kind of sounds like it, azure, blue, um... But yeah, I dropped a base computer on an Azure planet. Drop a base computer on this one. Flora fauna, there's no creatures here. Maybe some plant life, but not gonna be much. Forsaken would be another one. Exenerva, thank you. So Forsaken, the huh. Forsaken isn't just like abandoned or airless, it's actually an anomalous type. I did not know. Oxygen and sodium might be the only flora it has. Well. I don't know if we need to save this planet to come back to. I mean, it's neat looking. Go for it. temporary planetary anomaly malfunctioning infected glassy erased doomed crimson corrupted breached so maybe forsaken isn't or uh, there's one redacted <laughs> As, and weather I know I've seen weather that's not on that list and we have corrupted blood is the weather listed on one of the planets saw last night uh no um, like corrupted blood for weather and it's not on the list anomaly types Was this a nanophage then? At Sea Star, that's what I was wondering. Was corrupted blood on a chromatic planet? I'm not sure. Because uh, I'm still not clear on chromatic planets. Uh, but we went there. It was a ring world. It was the ring world we went to like half an hour ago. Where the formations on it were those giant ring can't scan them because chromatic planets are different to exotic planets okay base in this system because it's not unscanned. The only systems that we have to 
think extra hard about making a base on just to travel back to with a teleporter are the systems that are unmapped, uncharted. This one has a space station, which we need to visit. And uh, we might hang out at the trading post a little bit to see what ships are coming in in this system. so well. <laughs> what color is that ship? I can't tell. Everything's green. At least in um, Gamma Cyclones. Nice. Passive Sentinels. At least we can clear the weather with photo mode and put a Good. I need some extreme hazard planet time. Let's see if anybody lands here. Everyone else says, no, 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 we're not coming down there in a rad storm. Not landing my ship in that. health ones. standing with the Corvax. Ten ranks or ten um, standing away from Traveler of the Atlas. Somehow maxed out Gek first this time. Hey, did I just hear a ship land? I have another one, but I really just hear a ship land? Somebody finally land? Some ugly shuttles. Radiation protection stabilizing. I actually thought that shuttle type, the barrel type, looked pretty cool the first time I saw one, and then I flew one, and I thought, nah. Nah. How about a drop pod? Drop pod! Thank you, I like you. For the drop pod. Would you like a convergence cube? You can call them shittles. Do you now? tonight after the stream go try to camp and reload in that very busy system that we got portaled to for the community quest to see if I can find a S rank of that shuttle up uh, that fighter that large fighter large fighter in yellow good body type well this is the depressing trade outpost stop Ship up a little.
Alright, we've only got six more slots to go. We're maxed. Then I won't be chasing drop pods anymore. Your multi-tool is cute baby pink. Uh, yeah, thanks for the reminder. Yeah, it came out in Splatoon colors. Um, it was given to me. An NPC gave this to me. It was broken. I had to repair it. I was so glad to finally see an S-Class weapon. I mean, and an S-Class rifle with max slots. It was, it was perfect in every way. Except it looks like a water gun from Splatoon. So, there's that. Uh, bipedal donkey or something being chased by uh... is that a bipedal donkey? it kind of looks like it it's just it's front hoofs are flopping alright indie coffee good night sleep tight it just got killed that spider thing just killed the bipedal donkey and now it's Eating horribly on it. It's all twitchy. It's a horror show. Radiation protection. I'm not able to type. Radiation damage detected. Uh oh. I should pay attention to that. <laughs> That's nice. That's nice. Let's examine it. It's dead. And being chewed on. Or possibly worse. Let's just go with chewed on. If it was something else, we don't want to know. Still no drops of X cores since leaving the system they portaled us to. Says they'll drop anywhere in the galaxy. Haven't seen any since. Your post next run, you scan nothing unless you're getting paid to. Well, I am getting paid to with all those scanner mods. I'm getting paid for scanning everything except minerals, and that's why I don't scan the minerals. But, uh, do you mean missions where you're getting paid extra? Extra, extra? I'm not a billionaire like Chronic. I just hit 100 mil for the first time today. And if I saw some kick-ass hauler... Yeah, I mean paid by the mission, dude. That's what I figured you meant. Because you can get hundreds of nanites per, or hundreds of thousand, or more. I don't know what rank you are, but assuming you're higher rank than I am, you're probably getting better payouts. Anyways, the um, money that you get from actually scanning things, the units, if you're not a billionaire, ain't bad. I mean, that's how I got my first hundred million. <laughs> so you're at 1.3 billion and about 900 million assets. So you and Chronic are billionaires, and I can understand why you're not scanning as much stuff. It still adds up fast for me, where I'm at. We're not taking all of these, but what do we need, uh, want? Any of them? Maybe not. We could grab the chlorine, just... 
Same thing. I bet you would never grab... You wouldn't spend your time on these crystals. But why would you spend 30 seconds breaking down chlorine to get 150 units of chlorine to sell that for 100 and whatever, 100k or 30k or whatever it is. I don't even know. So in the back of my mind, I still feel like chlorine is reasonably valuable. Not really compared to better stuff, but... Um, in that area, yeah. You could not place base computers in the place they portal you to. I tried and it was just gone from the menu. But everywhere else, you can still do it normally. Just not in the place they portal you to for the quest. Find that your frigate missions bring back nice materials that allow you to make fusion igniters pretty easily. That and your living glass venture, which is a constant cash stream. Well, you know, the more long term uh, continue to play this over time, I'll learn some of the farming systems and hopefully start making some valuable items. So, Chronic, you're seeing people's bases in the place they portaled you to for the community quest? Is that what you're seeing? Because that would be weird. That would not let me place. Maybe they had to hot fix it, stop people from dropping bases because it was going to get out of control. I could see it getting out of control really fast. And I saw a ship I wanted, a large fighter. So I, I wanted to place a base so I could come back and um, stalk it, but no no go. Unfortunately, there was an abandoned space station with a teleporter, and I'll probably, after the stream, I'll teleport and try to stalk that fighter. What do you use indium for? Does anyone, um, double, no? Does anyone know what you use indium for? Activated indium, obviously you can break it down into chromatic metal, but that seems like a waste of something rare. Uh, we've got all the drive types. We didn't use indium for any of the drive types. Now what craftables use indium? Uh, correct. Pergy, the teleporter doesn't work either. Only way in and out is the portal. But have you tried after leaving through the portal? Have you tried coming back again through the teleporter? Because that's always, it's always the case when you portal somewhere that you can't use a teleporter or warp on the other side. Uh, Indium's great for making chromatic metal if you add silver and gold. Get a 30 for one return. So if you take a large refiner that takes three inputs and you can just add regular, so silver in one input, gold in another input, and indium, how about activated indium in the third input, and then you get 30 to one? Well, I started putting some indium. I've got activated and a stack of regular indium up on the freighter. <laughs> Colonel. Got that song stuck in your head. Well, good luck with that.
I'd feel bolstered by even a single drop of hex cores outside of that system where the quest warped us. I don't trust it saying they will drop anywhere in the galaxy when I haven't seen a single one anywhere else in the galaxy yet. You drop a signal booster in that system and get the galactic coordinates, I wonder. I bet you can. In fact, why don't we just see if we can teleport back? I don't think it's a single system. I think there's a bunch of systems that they're using to warp people to. However many um, they have, I can't even... I don't know. It looked like dozens and dozens and dozens of people had visited the system or, uh, that I got sent to. But actually hundreds. Thousands. And other people are being sent to other systems to do the do that mission. Yeah, disgusting amount of com balls. I couldn't couldn't pulse anywhere in the system. Because the com balls, uh, it was just, it was freaking it out and it just kept going to the space station. I couldn't pick the portal or anything else. Not that I wanted to pick the com balls, but if it had picked one of the com balls in the general vicinity of the reticle, that would have worked too, and it wasn't. It was, it was like they were freaking it out. Yeah, someone had named one of the planets in the system I got warped to had been named Arshoral. And... Just... It's a nice greeting. And another one was, Thank you, hello games! Oh, come on. Yeah, we're going. I want to see those things drop. I want proof that they drop. Unless, I mean, can anyone confirm that they drop from the same tech modules as they did during the mission? Or are they just maybe dropping from other things? Crates, boxes, mission rewards. Can confirm. Thank you. Because I have yet to see a single one. Come on, how about one, game? How about one? Just show me one. Show me you're not trolling. And I won't know it's not bugged until I see one. Why do I think it might be bugged? Well, Nada won't talk to me about milestones. It gets bugged. You're getting one hex cube every three or four buried thingies. So I have... That might only be three or four. So I, you know, I haven't exactly blown those odds yet. was in this system or what galaxy are you in a galaxy we just warped to I can tell you the name but I doubt it's gonna mean much we're in a galaxy oh what galaxy Euclid all right Euclid galaxy not system I had to but we're still in yeah
check out the space station here. You're in Hilbert. Mentioned we got portal to the same system for the event. Um, you got portal to what same system? The system in Euclid, or the same as what? Patch. Lost Blue Planet. Oh, Lost Blue. That sounds cool. Is that a chromatic planet? It's not one of the anomaly types, but um, Lost Blue. Sounds like it might be a chromatic planet. Lost Blue. We gotta check out Lost Blue. I'm gonna pop into the space station real quick, but then we're going to Lost Blue. Does it look Earth-like from space? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Quick stop the space station. And we can pick up a mission or two to scan, get some nanites. Maybe we can actually see some of the ships in this system. They seem to want to land at the uh, trade outpost. Besides the shittles. What color star system? Blue. Scatter, mining, pulse spitter, bolt caster, geocannon. <laughs> He's got some mods. Let's see what's landing. Mall fighter. Mall hauler. System you got sent to? Called Kaitu Hype. Oh wait, Kaitu Hype. Blue star with four planets. I yeah, I got you're right. <laughs> you're right then. You're right, same system. Arsh hole and I. You got sent to the same system, huh? Somehow that makes me feel better. <laughs> so you're in a you're in another galaxy, and yet you got sent there for the mission for the community event. That's weird. Hey Daisy, welcome. Hyperdrive, photon cannon. Hello. Rad toxic thermal movement. You don't think that specific system is in any galaxy? That's possible. That could explain it. Hey, Marisha. Hey, Jay. Hey, all. Hey, you. Just a custom crafted system for the event. Something like that. We're due another break uh, any minute. Find a good point here, probably before we leave the station. Uh, I'm not worried about getting the units for things. And eventually, when we have more recipes, blueprints, I might do missions for superconductors. And semiconductors things right now um i want to check out that blue planet let's see if anyone wants to give us directions to anything on that planet caffeine o'clock yeah captain it is pose it is get angry uh studying a list oh i will get angry just added a new line to their notes Flavor, flavor dialogue. I wonder if going back to that system where the quest sent us, there'll be a better drop 
rate of those items. Why can't I remember what the item is called? It's not that hard. It's a hex core. Hex core. Hex core. Hex six core. Hex core. Core. It's a core. It's a hex core. Can I remember hex core? It's not that hard. It's a short word. It's two words, but it's two short words. Hex core. I have not been able to remember hex core all day. What's that thing from the event? What's that thing I just looked at in my inventory 30 seconds ago? It's called a, a, a yeah, that's X core. Can I remember it now, please? I keep calling them hex cubes. I'd, I'd settle for just remembering hex. It'd be fine. Okay, Lost Blue, where'd you go? Perfect, that trading post is on Lost Blue. I suppose we'll take a break down there. We'll take, we'll see what it looks like, and then, um, then we'll take a break. Actually, they're kind of weird looking. <laughs> but weird at first, weird is cool. I'll, I'll take I'll take weird and different. But on second thought, what the hell? Kind of weird looking. Are they oozing? Ultra marine wind. Typical sentinels. big and oozy and they don't count as plants uh, or minerals they're not scannable they are big So lost blue, chromatic. The atmosphere does seem to have some more color to it from here on the ground. I mean, is that also part of a chromatic planet? Colorful atmospherics. There aren't more travelers passing through the system. All right, I gotta take that break. I wanna jump in the water, see if there's life in the water. I wanna poke around, see if there's life on the ground. And I wanna see what ships land. And so I'm gonna take a break and then after the break, we'll be going in another 90 minutes or so. We want to break down, deal with, pop off. Sell that effigy. Ah, okay, breaky break. You all in a few, stay tuned. <laughs> 